Coming to you, I'm Teresa Dufour with the CT Style Express. With social isolation measures in place, loneliness has become a familiar part of everyday life, but especially for older Americans living by themselves. Assisted Living Services and Assisted Living Technologies, Inc. is helping the elderly cope by offering tips to improve connectivity and devices to keep seniors aging safely in place. Today, we have Mario and Nick D'Aquila here to tell us more about the services they provide. Gentlemen, thanks for chatting with us via Zoom. Oh, thanks for having us today. Thank you. Um, so, Mario, start with the your company. What do you specialize in? Well, we have um, two companies. So we have Assisted Living Services, mm -hmm. and we have Assisted Living Technologies. And um, Assisted Living Services, we specialize in home care for seniors. So we employ caregivers that go out and about throughout Connecticut to help our aging seniors live in place longer, um, safely, um, healthy, Mm -hmm. and happy at home. Sure, it's such an important thing right now. And Nick, I know that you head up the other company, Assisted Living Technologies. Talk to me about some of the, the gadgets and services you provide. Sure, yeah, Assisted Living Technologies. So we've been around for about 10 years now. We're a sister company to Assisted Living Services. Mm -hmm. um, but we provide a bunch of different types of um, assistive technologies for seniors to help them live independently. Um, so I could even get started with some devices that we put in place uh, to increase some of that social interaction with the outside world and uh, keep them in touch with loved ones. It's so important, especially right now. What do you have? Well, I have uh, three devices I'll talk about today. Um, the first, which is very important, I always um, emphasize the fact that somebody needs to keep track and um, take their medications properly and on time. So what this is, it's a, uh, called a MedMinder. It's an automated medication dispenser um, with 28 different compartments. So you can fill it up. Uh, family members can fill it for you or nurses can. Um, and whenever it's time to take your medication on that particular day and time, one of these unlocks and blinks and even beeps to remind you to take your medication. Wow. Um, let's say you forget uh, your family member or whoever is programmed to receive a phone call will be notified that you either missed the medication, you took the medication at the wrong time, or if anything up with the box, like the power goes out and it's on backup battery. It's very important to keep one of these in your home and connect with family members so they can uh, really review if your medications are taken properly. Sure, that's so important. What a great tool. So that's, that's one of them. The other uh, device, uh, since people are, are home and uh, we always recommend that they go out for a walk still though, mm -hmm. out getting some outside air. Um, and we uh, recommend taking one of these. It's called a mobile emergency response system. And you can press the button and get help 24 seven wherever you are because they could track you through the GPS and find your location. So this is another great device if you're ever going on a walk um, to take with you or if you're at home too. Um, but we, we've seen some issues with people not wanting to wear their pendants when they get home. Um, you know, they take it off, they forget that it's off. And uh, that's why we, we also have other devices that can go into the home like this. It's called the Wallabot Home. And it actually has radio frequencies to sense if the person's standing, sitting, or if they fell. And what it'll do is it'll call out to a family member letting them know uh, that the person fell and they could actually talk to their loved ones directly through this device so they can follow up with help if they need to. Wow, it provides such peace of mind for family members. So important. Um, Mario, I want to bring the conversation back to you. Just remind us some of the old school ways uh, to keep a check on our loved ones. For oh, definitely. Well, you know, now that we've all been quarantining for the past few months, I mean, we want to make sure that you know, you, you check in on a daily basis with elderly family members, friends and neighbors. It's really key during this pandemic. Um, we want to make sure that social interaction, um, whether it's virtual like this, um, over the phone, um, all those things should be a priority, right? Using FaceTime, WhatsApp, Zoom, like we're using now, Skype, Google Hangouts, those are all really important to make sure that um, you're, you're kind of uh, sharing the same experience um, with others, and it can really be actually therapeutic in nature. Sure. Um, help create a routine, right? Encouraging um, seniors to to get up, get out, um, 
go for walks, like Nick said, and use one of the mobile emergency response systems. Um, but routines are really important, right? We can kind of forget. Um, I, I know at least I do sometimes forget what day of the week it is even, right? So you want to get up, get out, you know, and, uh, you know, create those routines for the day. Um, and one really important thing I always, I always uh, recommend is setting weekly goals, right? On Sunday, you wake up and you say, what am I going to do this week that's going to make this week great, right? Um, and I, I can measure my progress, right? Um, physical goals. Hey, I'm going to take one walk a day, yeah. right? Uh, maybe I'm going to eat healthy, um, eat, eat at least one salad a day or at least one salad at every meal, right? I think Set that's those goals. You know, and those are physical goals. You know, you could do uh, mental goals too, right? Um, I'm going to read one book a week or half a book a week, right? So all really important things to, to, to do and to gauge your progress weekly. Um, you could really be amazed at what you can accomplish in a month or even a year of doing just this. Come up with a plan and uh, just tell us where we could find the devices and where we can learn some more information. Sure. So, Nick, go ahead. Yeah. Sure. You can visit our website at www.assistedlivingtechnologies.com, um, or you can give us a call at 203, um, sorry, 235-8324. Um, we're located on 290 Highland Avenue in Cheshire, Connecticut, and we do have a new show gallery. Um, you know, no physical visits at this point to see the products, but uh, we're always up for scheduling uh, Zoom meetings with, with prospective um, inquirers. Sure. Very good. Well, gentlemen, such important information and really interesting products to help uh, make this time a little bit easier for seniors. I appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you.